Hey guys, it's me, Crystal, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute striped crochet bucket hat. For this project, I'm using some worsted weight cotton yarn. I'm just using random yarn from my stash, but if you have a four ounce skein of each color, you should be good. I'm also just using a stitch marker, which is optional, and a four millimeter crochet hook. Okay, to start, we're going to make a magic ring. Now, if you've never done one before, it's okay. I'll walk you through it. So you just take your yarn and wrap it around your fingers and hold it like this. Then you insert your hook into the loop on the back of your fingers and pull through a loop. Now we're gonna pinch the yarn right here just to hold it together. Take your fingers out of the loop and then you're gonna pull the working yarn over to the left while still holding everything pinched together with your fingers. Now you're gonna carefully transfer everything to your other hand. Just keep pinching it in place there and get a hold of it and get your working yarn over there on the left. There you go, okay. Now you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna pull through to chain. And this is gonna hold your magic ring together for you. And you're gonna chain one more time because we're gonna be doing half double crochets. So we need to do a chain two to start. All right, so now we're gonna make eight half double crochets into our ring. So yarn over, insert into your ring, and pull up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over again, and you're gonna pull it through all three loops. And that is one half double crochet. And you're gonna repeat that until you have eight all together, and the chain two you did at first does not count as a stitch, so just don't even count that. Just count the actual half double crochets that you do. Once you get eight half double crochets in your ring, you're gonna pull that short end and you're gonna just pull it to cinch the hole closed and pull it real good so it pulls all the way through. And here's what it'll look like at this point. Now we're gonna do a special join. So to do this, you're gonna pull the loop up big like that and take your hook out. Then you're gonna insert your hook into the first half double crochet you made from the back. So we're going in this way. And your hook's gonna be going through like that. And then you're gonna take that loop that you left, this long loop, and you're gonna bring it around the front and onto your hook. And it's gonna look like this. And just kind of pull on your yarn to tighten that loop up a little bit. And it'll look like this. And then you're just gonna pull that loop through the stitch like that. And the reason we're doing it like that is because it looks a lot nicer instead of just a regular slip stitch join. Then you're gonna chain two. And for the second row, we're gonna do the same color. And we're gonna make two half double crochets in each stitch that we already made. So this is the first one, we have one half double crochet. And then you're gonna do one more in that same stitch. There we go, our first two. And then I'm gonna place a marker in the first stitch. And this is just so you don't get confused about which is the first stitch and what was the chain. <laughs> you don't really have to do that if, you don't, if you're not worried about it, but it does make it a little bit easier. And then you're gonna continue making two half double crochets in each stitch that you made in the previous round. So you'll have 16 half double crochets for this round all together. When you get to the end of your row, and this is our last stitch, we're gonna do it a little different. So go ahead and make your second half double crochet in the last stitch, and you have your three loops on your hook. Now what you're gonna do next is grab your next color, which I'm using this brown, and you're gonna make the last part of that stitch with the new color. So just loop the yarn over your hook, and you've got your three loops on your hook, and now you've got the new color on your hook too. And you're gonna just kind of hold on to that yarn so that the stitch doesn't get super loose. And then you're just gonna pull the new color through those three loops to complete that stitch. Then you're gonna take your stitch marker out of your first stitch if you did that. And now we're gonna do that special join the same way we did before, but now we'll just be doing it with this new color. So there's our first stitch where we pull our loop up, take our hook out, 
insert our hook from the back of the stitch, just going right under the two loops of the top of the stitch. Bring the new loop around onto the front of the hook, pull it from behind to tighten it up a little bit, and then just pull it through. And there we go, we finished our first or our second round. Now you're going to chain two. We always chain two at the beginning. And for this round, we're going to make one half double crochet in the first stitch, and then you're going to increase in the second stitch. So here I'm going to go ahead and place my marker. And this pattern will be one half double crochet and then increase in the next. And increase just means to put two half double crochets in that stitch. So there we go. We got one in the first one and then two in the second one. Then you'll do one in the next one and two in the next one. So the pattern is one half double crochet and then increase and then one half double crochet and then increase. We're just going to keep both colors of yarn attached and that way at the end you won't have to weave in a whole bunch of ends, which is awesome. And you're just going to continue doing your one half double crochet and then your increase and repeat that around until you reach the end of the round. This is our last stitch here. We got to do our first half double crochet and then one more. So for this one, we're going to have our three loops on our hook of our brown, and then we're going to drop the brown yarn. We're going to pick up the natural colored yarn. Just leave the brown hanging there and you're going to yarn over and pull it through those three loops from the last stitch. And there we go. Just leave the brown there. It'll be fine. We're just going to carry it along the back. And then we're going to do our special join again. So make our big loop, take our hook out, remove our stitch marker, put your hook into that first stitch from the back, bring that big loop around, tighten it up a little bit and pull it through and then chain two. Whoops, my yarn wanted to split, <laughs> chain two. And then we're going to do the next two rounds with the natural. And for this round, we're gonna do a half double crochet in the first two stitches. So one half double crochet there, place our marker if you want. Eventually I get tired of placing markers, so I stopped. But one there and one here. And then we're going to increase in the next stitch. So for this one, we're doing two regular half double crochets and then an increase. For this round, we're not going to be changing colors yet. We're going to do two rounds of natural. So we're just going to go ahead and do our special join, pull your big loop up, take your hook out, insert it into that first stitch from behind, bring your loop over and onto your hook, tighten it up and pull it through. And then we're going to chain two and do the next round. So two rounds with the natural and then one round with the brown. And for this round, we'll do three half double crochets. So one, one in the next stitch. Sorry, I'm off camera here for a second. And one in the next stitch. And then we'll increase in the fourth stitch. There you go. And you're just going to repeat that pattern around. And when we get to the end of this row, we'll be switching back to our brown. All right, here we are. We're doing our last stitch in this increase. So we have three loops on our hook, drop the natural colored yarn, pick up the brown colored yarn and yarn over with the brown and finish up our last stitch. Pull the natural yarn just a little bit to tighten it up and just pull it through. And there we go. And do our special join. And 
and then we're going to chain two and continue. You're going to repeat this for eight rounds all together and just for each round you're going to add one more stitch before you do your increase and that will just make it become a larger and larger circle that won't bow in or anything. Once you've got eight rows, your circle should be about six inches across. And now what we're gonna do is we're just going to work even from rows nine until 18. And that just means we're not gonna increase. We're just gonna do one stitch in each stitch going around for all the rows. So here I am just doing one stitch in each one, no increases. Then you're just gonna go ahead and do your regular join like we've been doing, our special join for each row, and you're gonna alternate your colors. And here's how it looks at this point. So this is through row 18, and now you can see it's actually starting to look like a hat. You can see this is where we're carrying our yarn for each row, so we can switch colors, and it really isn't noticeable on the inside of the hat. And using this special join makes a less noticeable seam. You can still see it, but if you do a regular slip stitch, it's a lot more noticeable. From the top of your hat to row 18, it should be about six and a half inches long at this point. Okay, so for this next round, we are going to work in the front loop only. Now we're gonna yarn over, and to do your first stitch, you're just gonna go up through, and you're just gonna go into that first loop, that's a front loop instead of both loops. And you're gonna go ahead and make your half double crochet. And for this whole row, we're gonna just do it in the front loops only. In this row, we are gonna do an increase. So we're gonna do seven half double crochets and then increase in the eighth stitch and then repeat that around. But you'll just be working in the front loop only for only this round. And then we'll go back to working as usual in the next. And this kind of helps your brim flare out a little bit. So there we go, and you're just gonna repeat that around, and you see you'll have this ridge here on the inside, but it kind of makes the brim stick out a little bit more. Then on the next row, we're gonna go back to doing our stitches under both loops. So here I've just skipped ahead and I'm doing the next row. So this is row 20, and this row will be even. There won't be any increases. And then for the following row, there will be an increase. It'll be eight half double crochets and then one increase. So you're gonna repeat that around for row 21. Then the next row will be even, then we'll do an increase row, an even row, and then two increase rows at the end. So here's how it will look when we're done. And you did an increase row for both of the last rows. And if this is confusing, the pattern will be linked down below over on my blog as well. So now I'm gonna show you how to finish off the last row. So we are gonna just do a regular slip stitch join here. So just insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull it through the loop on your hook. Cut your yarn and then pull it through the loop on your hook to finish it off and tighten it up. Now we just need to weave in our end. So I'm just gonna flip my hat around here and I'm gonna also cut the brown yarn and leave some tail so I can weave it in. Then I'm gonna grab my yarn needle and first I'm weaving in the main color end. And you're just gonna weave it down under a few stitches and then we'll tie a knot to secure it. Since this hat will likely be washed a bunch of times, I wanna really make sure my ends are secure. So I wove it under quite a few stitches and then I'm just looping it around one last stitch here and I'm gonna tie a knot just to make sure it's really, really well secured. And then I'm gonna tie one more knot just for the fun of it. <laughs> Never be too safe. And then I'm gonna go ahead and weave my end in just a little bit more just to make sure it doesn't pop out whenever it gets washed. And you're just gonna repeat that with the other ends as well. Now 
make sure you go ahead and weave the piece of yarn coming out of your magic loop around through all the stitches of the magic loop and then tie a knot to secure it so it doesn't come undone in the wash. Then I wove my end down and just tied the two yarns together and wove in the ends a little bit more and cut off the excess. And then your hat is complete. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, if you want to see the written pattern for this hat, be sure to check the description box below because it's all linked down there and you can find the step-by-step -step tutorial over on my blog if you prefer a written pattern. And if you prefer a printable ad-free version, I'll also link that down below as well. Thanks for watching!